and welcome back to White Mountains today. My pleasure to introduce and meet for the first time Beth Carter Dolan. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm doing great. She is from <laughs> Joseph's Spaghetti Shed, and this is our first time meeting, but I've heard great things not only about your restaurant, but about you. Well, that thanks. you do wonderful things for the community, and uh, that's one of the points that we're going to hit. But Absolutely. let's talk about Joseph's Spaghetti Shed first. What was, tell me the concept of the restaurant. Well, it, we've been in business almost 33 years, yes. which is hard to believe. Uh, a lot of, lot of places come and go in the valley, yeah. but we've been, we've been around for a long time. Um, my dad and I opened it together, oh. and uh, he, we opened it first as breakfast and lunch, and it was called Joseph's Coffee Shop. And uh, he always wanted to have dinner, yeah. but, but there's so many restaurants in the valley. He wanted something that that was different and he was out in California and he went to a place called the Spaghetti Factory came back and he said I know what I want to do <laughs> and so then we started doing dinner for a long time we did three meals a day which I will never do again that <laughs> but is, well that's an yeah, amazing amount a long day it is and it's a long day and and it's we went through a, a period of time um, where you just couldn't staff it you mm. just you there just wasn't a, enough help right. and and um, uh, but what we went into to doing spaghetti when we started it was just spaghetti and our homemade sauces and our home baked bread but um, over the years the menus expanded I've added some really nice new items to the menu that have become very popular um, and and we have a couple of things on there that aren't Italian but most of the menus Italian based. okay so what are some of your favorite items um, I love my lasagna mm. uh, it's a meat-based lasagna this pepperoni and sausage and plenty of cheese and ground beef and then we we when we serve it we put extra sauce on top and so uh, I always have it with the house Paris sauce <laughs> which is because the, the house sauce oh, house and sauce that's so um, that is uh, it's a, a red sauce but it's thick with peppers onions mushrooms Yum. celery ground beef that's my favorite sauce so Yum. that's one of my favorites our veal we hand bread our veal and our, our um, veals really delicious right. and uh, then we've got a couple of new items on the menu our chicken piccata um, which is a sauteed breast of chicken and we top it with um, uh, fresh spinach, artichoke hearts, roasted red peppers that are uh, heated with some garlic and butter, and then a lemon caper cream sauce over the top. Where did and you come up with this stuff? Just, that sounds delicious. I made, I, I, at the end of the night, I'm like, oh, right. what do I want to eat? You know, right, and, right. and I'll just start putting stuff in a pan, and, and like, I'll I'm be like, wow, this menu. is pretty good. <laughs> I need to put this on the menu. So that one, and then I uh, added a chicken caramella to the menu. Um, it's it's a, a white sauce um, that I add marsala wine to, um, chicken, uh, sautéed mushrooms, and caramelized onions, and we serve that over a mushroom ravioli. Wow! And that's really good too. That is so yeah. good. Now, how many yeah. how many people can you seat in your restaurant? We seat um, we seat just shy of sixty. Okay, so yeah. do you ever rent out for parties? And I stuff actually, like that? It, it depends on the season. Mm. Um, uh, in the spring, I actually have a rehearsal dinner booked on I was a Friday say, night. Weddings must love and, I, and I'm busy with weddings anyway because my yeah. second business is the Sugar Maker Bakery, and I do wedding cakes oh and gosh, all kinds of Beth. stuff. So I actually, I'm exhausted the, just <laughs> thinking about your schedule. My goodness! At the end of uh, April, I actually have a wedding I'm doing, and they contacted me about doing a rehearsal dinner. So. I'll be able to do the rehearsal dinner, and I'll, I'll just close right down and do it for them. Now, I can do that in April because it's not right. busy in April. Not you know, a vacation week. Right, you know, <laughs> but, I, but I can't do that in the summertime. Right. You know, I can't, I can't do, a, you know, a party right. for just because I, I can't wait on 36 people when I could probably have 136 people walk through the door. Absolutely, yeah. But in, in the off-season times, mm -hmm. I often do private parties. Oh, very And cool. it's really fun because then, I mean, I do parties, they don't even have to have Italian food. You know, if they want a roast pork dinner for their can party, I can you just come cook I for me every that. night? <laughs> <laughs> All this food that you're talking about is sounds so delicious. It's, it must be kind of fun to have a restaurant that you can, you know, make the whole menu yourself. It, it is. It is. Um, but I, I have to say... I have tried things on the menu um, that are non-Italian things, and people come there for the Italian <laughs> food. You know what I mean? Once in a while, I have somebody order. I mean, meat, I always have meatloaf on the menu, and um, 
and and you know every night maybe one person will order meatloaf right, but right. but people yeah. come to the spaghetti shed all right for I'm Italian coming food. to the spaghetti well, shed. Well, good. <laughs> so excited to try it out. And it's not only spaghetti, as you mentioned. There's other uh, dishes, yeah. chicken dishes, and lasagna. Mm -hmm. um, but also, you have. You were telling me you were up this morning, baking bread. Yes. Yeah. Fresh baked yeah. bread, as yeah. well as what else did you bring here? Well, I brought you some apple pie, for and me? I brought you some like homemade brownie for you, for you guys. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I make oh, all you the said you guys <laughs> <laughs> for everybody. Yeah. Um, I make all the desserts at the restaurant oh as well, and that's a, that's fun too because that's an ever-changing menu. One of the things that um, that because of the wedding cake business, when you make a wedding cake, you level the cake off, so you cut all this beautiful cake off. And I'm like, what am I going to do? You eat it. I, I make bread pudding with it, <laughs> and I've made probably 20 different kinds of bread pudding depending on what kind of cake I have. And will that be on the menu as well, or is it yep. only when you're doing? It, it's, it's I, off, I always have some type of bread pudding mm, on the menu, if it's a bread traditional pudding. bread pudding. Um, but, but I had gingerbread bread pudding, because I had gingerbread that I had to use, carrot cake bread pudding. Right. You know, you make carrot cake, and it's like, okay, well, you've had it for a couple of days, you know, Turn break it up. Pudding. Turn it into bread pudding. Oh, it, awesome. I've made so many different kinds of bread pudding. So now people come in and they'll say, well, what kind of bread pudding do you have tonight? You know, because I've done a lot of different ones. What are you going to have tonight? Probably chocolate tonight. Mm, yeah. That sounds yeah. so good. And I'm going to be baking all day. Uh, my friend Kathy at Adventure Sweets is, uh, um, she, there. tomorrow's the chocolate fest. Oh, and right, yeah. they're one of the stops on the chocolate fest. Yes. So I create a bunch of cupcakes and go and do Kathy's for the, for the chocolate <laughs> fest. It's and very fun. Let's talk about, uh, you. Were, before we went on air, you were talking about the Monday Dine to Donate. My Monday Dine to Donates, yeah. Um, uh, every Monday, I try to work with a local nonprofit or charity group. Um, and what we do is, is they market the event. We try to get as many people as we can to come in and have dinner, and in return, I give them 20% of the total proceeds from the night. Um, so, so it's not it's not just entrees. It's not just so much per. It's 20% of the total sales for the night, takeout and everything. Um, and this Monday, I have um, the adaptive canine training services coming in. Really, very fun. They often bring dogs with them and <laughs> in the lobby so if you love dogs come to the restaurant oh on gosh. Monday night you might get to what cuddle a puppy. Start? Starts at 4 30. At 4 30 till 9 and 20% uh, of the sales will go to um, ACTS uh, and currently um, I'm wide open for bookings in okay. March uh, so any nonprofit or school group that's looking to raise funds uh, best way to contact me is my email address uh, Joseph's Spaghetti Shed at gmail dot com, um, and uh, shoot me an email, and we'll try to set up a Monday that will work for that nonprofit or charity. Wonderful. So this and Monday's taken, but the rest of the them are open, yeah, all of so March is open right up. now. Um, April, I won't be doing them because I'll only be open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and April. Uh, I'll be away a lot in April. That's my month. I actually get to thank goodness <laughs> take a break. Um, <laughs> And that, but I will be booking them in May as well. Okay, good. So uh, let's get those booked yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and, except and for April. <laughs> except, yeah, uh, but but um, it's been it's been really really great. I've met a lot of local people. I've learned a lot about the nonprofits and the charities in the valley. And uh, we have a, we're, we live in a very giving community with yeah. a high spirit of volunteerism, yeah. and it's uh, it's really great to be part of that and to meet other people that that have that as part of their mission you know well Beth thank you so much uh, it was for, great to meet you it Kelly. was great to meet you too <laughs> thank you for everything that you do here in the community um, and folks you can find well actually why don't you give the directions to Joseph Spaghetti Shop. I am in Glen and uh, I'm about halfway between the intersection of uh, where in Glen, where the Irving Station is, the intersection of 302 and 16, and Atatash. If you stay on 302 West, headed towards Atatash, about yep. a mile and a half from the intersection, on the left-hand side, Joseph's Spaghetti Shed. Wonderful. Well, Beth, again, pleasure to Great meet to you, you, and thank Kelly. you so much. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll be.